Any type of feedback can help you rewrite. Hi, I'm Juanita, and I will guide you through the dramified process of hearing feedback. This is Arthur, a writer struggling with hearing feedback, and Textman, his written work. Angel means well, but her feedback isn't always constructive. You'll also get help from two brains who think very differently. The comics will be available online or to download after each lesson. Using the dramified process of hearing feedback will help you develop new skills and create new habits when hearing feedback on your work. Moving from one lesson to the next, completing the assignments as you go follows the arc of story narrative. You are the main character who overcomes resistance to changing how you think about your work so you can rewrite with confidence. This course will help you directly and indirectly develop mental and emotional skills for hearing and translating feedback as you write and rewrite fiction or nonfiction, prose or scripts. The assignments will include surveys, quizzes, thinking experiments, and writing exercises, resulting in a short story or essay. You will get feedback on that first draft, apply the dramified process of hearing feedback, and finalize your draft with a rewrite. Your learning story, like any story, starts with the exposition. We'll look at how the psychological principles of learning relate to preparing for and understanding feedback. Stories are sparked by an inciting incident. In your learning story, this incident comes in the form of a question. Do you learn differently as an adult from when you did as a kid? Of course you do. You'll correlate the phases of transformative learning with hearing feedback. The next step in your learning story is conflict. You may feel conflicted when seeing yourself as creative, but you do have the capacity for creative thinking. We'll use the mediums of making art as metaphors for the creative thinking you need for a rewrite. As your story's rising action, we'll dive into the mechanics of receiving feedback by looking at how to create critiquing opportunities. We'll explore feedback formats, including the dramified critique form. Stories often have a plot twist, which is why we'll spend time looking at the toxic relationships you may encounter with critiquers. Learning how to set boundaries can help you manage difficult relationships and put the feedback you receive into a context that makes sense to you. The falling action of your learning story will come in the form of identifying your natural defense mechanisms and reducing cognitive dissonance. You will gain skills in managing your own high emotion because both thinking and feeling contribute to your personal drama when receiving feedback. You'll up the stakes by learning how to use the dramified feedback form, which is at the core of the dramified process of hearing feedback. The chaotic thinking of freaking out can be overcome with visual thinking tools. As the climax of your learning story, you'll discover how active listening can help you complete the dramified feedback form. By the time it is complete, the emotional wackiness around feedback will be replaced with inspiration. Inspiration will support your unique way of changing your brain to change your mind so that you can plan your rewrite. You will learn more about your unique psychology and how to manage it as part of the denouement of your learning story. In the resolution to your learning story, you will revisit the art of the rewrite so that you can move forward with your work. You'll also check out how famous writers feel about the process of rewriting. Do the work. Each assignment will add a deeper layer of meaning to your learning story. They are designed to help you help yourself hear, translate, and integrate feedback in a way that works best for you. You won't be alone. Arthur will be right there with you. Your first assignment is to take a confidence survey. You will retake it at the end of the course after you've finalized a four to six hundred word essay and before receiving your certificate of completion. Talk at you soon.